This demonstration will guide you through the process of adding a shared calendar. The first thing that you need to do is open Outlook from your school computer. Once Outlook is opened, click on the calendar button in the bottom left hand corner. This will reveal your personal calendar. Next, locate the Open a Shared Calendar option. After you click on it, this box will appear. Now, select the Name button, and this box will appear. What you're going to do is come up here to this blank and type in the name of the calendar that you're searching for. For instance, if I wanted to add the calendar called Wilson C101 Lab, I would start by typing in Wilson, and as I did, it would jump through the alphabet till it got there. Notice that the first Wilson calendar is the C101 Lab, so I'd make sure it's highlighted, and then I would select OK. And now I'll select OK again. Now notice that the Wilson C101 Lab calendar has now been added under this category called People's Calendars. So my personal calendar is under the category called My Calendars, and any shared calendar is down here between peop under People's Calendars. The little green check marks indicate if that calendar is turned on or off. So since I have both green check marks, I notice that I can see both my personal calendar and then also the Wilson calendar here. But if I unchecked, for instance, my calendar, I would only be viewing the Wilson calendar and vice versa. If I unchecked Wilson, I would only be viewing my own. To add more calendars, all you would do is repeat the same process and then all of the calendars that you've added would appear underneath here. Now let's talk about adding a reservation to a calendar. Let's say, for instance, that I wanted to schedule for computer lab time for Friday the 30th. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my calendar off and have just the lab calendar open. And here's Friday the 30th. I would locate the time when I want to bring my class in, let's say 10 o'clock, and I'm going to double click. And this box is going to appear. And then I can enter a subject. And I can also add a start and stop time. So if I wanted to keep them till 11, then I would enter that there. And you even have this blank space to add any more details if you wish. Typically, you'll probably leave this blank if you're just reserving the lab or reserving the laptops. And here, you could just enter in your name if you'd like. And after you've entered in your information, you're going to click Save and Close. And notice that that time has now been added. You can see my name, and I have it reserved from 10 to 11 o'clock. If you realize that you want to go back and make an adjustment, you can either just double click on it to edit it, or you can grab this little bubble here and drag it down in case, let's say, you wanted to keep the lab until 12 o'clock. So you can make any adjustments that you need. Another way to add a reservation is if you just click on a time, and then you can automatically start typing. Instead of doing the double click and opening up that box. So that is your choice. After you've entered a reservation, nobody else has the ability to erase that entry except yourself. So if you did want to go back in and click on it and delete it, then you certainly could. Or make any changes you could. To return to your own calendar, you would just click on the little check mark next to your own calendar and if you wanted to get rid of the lab calendar you would uncheck mark there and then re to return to your inbox you would just select the mail option located here. 